Mmm, yummy breakfast. Yummy breakfast for the poorly person in bed. Hi everyone, happy vlogmas day four. I feel a hell of a lot better than yesterday, but as you can probably hear, I'm still not 100%. My voice just, I, well, my voice is okay. It's my my jaw and my neck and everything, because obviously your tonsils are like here, um, and, uh, and they're so swollen that it's just making it really, really hard to string a sentence together without sounding a little bit um, stupid. As you can see, lovely backdrop behind me. So today has just been a lazy day. Um, I'm just trying to recover because December for a hairdresser is the busiest time of year. Um, I had to miss work yesterday evening and I'm having to miss work today as well, which is just really, really pants. I'm trying not to stress out because it's just a case of having to fit everybody in, you know, getting everyone done and then moving on to the next day and not having to squidge people in as well. So I'm trying not to stress um, and just take it as a day to chill out and rest and, and then I can just go straight in once I feel better. Anyway, rambliness. I opened my advent calendar today, my U Beauty one. Ooh, just kick kick the diary. Um and I'm really excited because I got a Leighton Denny nail varnish which is in shade Vamp. And it's really good because it's actually, the shade of it, it's kind of like a dark, I don't know if you can see, it's like a dark red. And it's going to be perfect for my outfit for my um, Christmas party that I'm going to with my um, friends from work. So that's going to be really good. And I've used the, I, a couple of days ago in, in the um, advent calendar, I got the Caudalie hand and nail cream. And I just used that on my hands because they were feeling a bit dry and it's so so nice my throat is killing me the next thing on the agenda is lunch my antibiotics and some paracetamol which is just so exciting and also oh yeah that's the other thing i'm going to show you now i'm really excited because for 27 years now i have not liked tea or coffee um but the other day oh steam from the kettle um the other day we went out and um Oh, thank you, thank you. That was the bear turning the light on for her to help me. Um, the other day, the bear got it into his head that he fancied a latte. So, um, he got some of these. Nescafe latte menu thingies. And, uh, and brought it home. And I had a little sip of it. And do you know what? I really liked it. So now, after 27 years, I'm actually drinking coffee. Actually, if my family see this, they're going to be really happy because they've been trying to get me onto hot drinks for years. So I'm going to, I'm going to make this, um, choose a Christmas movie. We've got quite a few to choose from. Um, actually, I'm going to show you the cho choice of movies that we've got so that you can see. Mm, yummy. So here's our choice of movies. Um, not all of these. I mean, I don't know if anyone has actually seen the um, the National Lampoon's Vacation series. Um, they're really, really funny. Um, but there is actually... Ooh, sorry, Chevy Chase. Um, there's a Christmas one, which is just absolutely hilarious, which is there. And um, it's really nostalgic for me because I used to watch it with my sister all the time. And we used to literally roll around laughing. It was just so much fun. Um, and then, obviously, Elf. Sam! That is, oh, that really hurt my throat. Um, it's gonna be, gonna be one of my. You know, it's taken years. I don't. I think the last Christmas movie that I really, really liked, um, that was quite um, recent. I think the most recent one was probably Home Alone. Um, and it took me years to find one that I really, really liked and that made me laugh just as much as that did. And um, and then it came along in in this form, and it's the lovely elf. And then next is It's a Wonderful Life, which is just amazing. It's a real feel-good movie, that. Um, and James Stewart is one of my all-time favourite um, actors from days gone by. Um, so I'd, I might be watching that. Oh, I just can't choose. And then you've got White Christmas which um, has Rosemary Clooney in it, which I think is George Clooney's auntie, um, which is a little interesting fact for you there. And um, uh, it's, it's um, one of those really good feel-good movies as well. Um, and I know, sadly, I know the words to absolutely every single song in it. So, yeah, I, hope, I think we're going to go with um, White Christmas or Elf. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know which one we go for. 
Okay, so I've put on a scarf because I need to keep my neck really, really warm. But I just wanted to show you guys something that's really made me giggle. Um, a couple of um, nights ago, my sister came over for a, um, a girly night. And um, <laughs> I've just realised that when she used the bathroom, she's actually done this to my... They're, they're, they're block letters and they're, they're meant to spell love. And she's got to change it so that it says vol. Um, and I've only just noticed, so it's made me really, really giggle. So the bear was like, what are you laughing at? And I said, oh, Amy's been up to her usual shenanigans again. So I, I don't know what's funniest, the fact that she's changed the letters or the fact that it's taken me this long to actually realise it because I'm really not that observant. I actually texted her and I said, oh, I said, all I text was um, he he and then vol. And she messaged me back and she said it's taken you this long to realize it i said yeah i know observancy wasn't really my strongest point um so that was really really funny but we've we've had a really nice afternoon we've just been um watching the christmas movies i put on christmas white christmas because i just felt like being uplifted the bear the bear has been really really busy he decided to draw his nephew a really really cute picture for his christmas present which is this how amazing is that? So talented. We both love drawing, um, and he, he's just, he's really good at it. I, I would have been doing joining him on it, actually, because I really like drawing, but obviously I'm not very well, so all that I'm really up for or have the energy for is to sit on the sofa and watch a load of Christmas movies. The bear has just popped out to get nibbly things. I don't know about you, sometimes I just, I don't really feel like dinner. Especially when I'm ill, I never really feel like dinner. I feel like kind of just picking at things. So I said, you know, let's just get some nibbly things and, and have that for dinner. So that's what he's gone to get. I look like I look like a bank robber with this on. Mm, scary. It's a very, very comfy scarf, actually. And it's got a hood. Look at that. So snuggly. So, yeah, I'm waiting, waiting now for dinner. Nibbly dinner. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. I have to show you this. I don't even know why this is happening. You okay? Oh, okay. Who knows? Who knows why you do these things? There isn't a day goes by that you don't do something like that. This is Winnie. Hello, darling. You're a little bit more grumpy, though, aren't you? Well, not grumpy. You're just rather serious. You're a serious lady. She doesn't really like being on film, either, for some reason. She's quite a bashful cat. Oh, these are amazing as well. These are um, the bear's um, pyjama bottoms and I'm actually really jealous of him for getting these because I love them so much. I've got an Elmo onesie that um, if you've watched my videos before then you would have seen them but these are the Cookie Monster and they're fleecy and he got them the other day from George at Asda and uh, I think they're only a tenner. Um, but I've tried them on and um, they're, they're XXL so they fit both of us, they're, they're really baggy and um, really comfy as well and they keep us nice and warm so uh, I might be stealing those off of him soon without him knowing so shh. Okay so I've gone back to doing my um, my Christmas wrapping which I really shouldn't be doing, I should still be resting on the sofa but I'm terrible at stopping doing things. I will be doing a whole video on how I've been doing my wrapping as well because I love, I love Christmas wrapping. Part of me thinks it's such a shame because it just gets ripped apart on the actual day but while it's under the tree it just looks so nice and I love um, giving them to people and having them say oh wow they look amazing. I've made a start uh, so I thought I'd just show you what we're doing this year. Um, I think, um, you know, purples and pinks are always really, really eye-catching. And brown paper, I don't know why, I've always really liked using it because um, it's so it's so good. It's like a blank canvas and you can pretty much choose whatever colours you want to go with it. And then we've got some nice silver tags. Um, and yeah, I've just done lots of bows and things. Um, but I just thought, just thought I'd give you a little preview because I will be going a bit more in depth as to how I've done what I've done. And I also want to show you guys this because I said earlier that um, 
I'm a really creative person, just like Bear, and um, I thought you'd all want to see this, which is a canvas that I'm working on, or have been working on, um, but it's taking me a really long while, um, and that's because of the sheer size of it, plus uh, of all the little details. It started off as a really small idea. <laughs> And it suddenly grew and it's nowhere near finished yet. I mean, there's so much to do. Um, it's a mixture of uh, watercolour pencils and acrylic paint. And um, there's going to be a whole load more going on. She's basically, uh, it's a bit it's a bit kind of mother nature, um, all about beauty being in nature, things like that. I'm going to put a whole quote in the... Um, in the blank part here but I don't know what quote I want to put in there if anyone has got any lovely beauty quotes like kind of things about natural beauty or anything like that please put them in the comments below because I'd love to hear them um because I've not actually found a beauty quote that I like enough to put on it yet so I thought you'd like to see that and yeah this is just our art room really it's a complete mess um <laughs> it's, not, it's not really um damp that, that pretty to look at really but um, it's, it's where we come when we want to do all our creative stuff and we've got all our DVDs down here as well um, I had these random fairy lights and I don't really know what to do with them <gasps> Ooh, apart from pull them down um, and this, this always reminds me, this is the bears and it reminds me a bit, I don't know if you remember on the generation game um, but it reminds me a little bit like that but it's actually for when you do drawing because um, you can put them in different poses and then it helps you kind of draw people's bodies a bit easier um, so they are actually meant to do a purpose rather than be a prop of the generation game we've got a random lightsaber up there as well this is basically our random room it's our random room where we put loads of things and then we come here when we want to do something creative so yeah a little tour there um my voice is really hurting, so I'm going to have to vlog off for today. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow for vlog five. Five. Um, and I'm actually working tomorrow. I do have a job. Um, <laughs> like I mentioned in my videos before, and it's on my blog and my profiles and everything, but I am a hairdresser, um, which you wouldn't necessarily believe right now because of looking at my hair, but uh, I tend to spend so much more time on other people's hair that I forget my, my own. But yeah, I'm back to work tomorrow, and hopefully it's going to be okay considering that I still don't feel 100%, but I simply can't take any more time off work. This is just too much of a busy season, so I really have to get back on the horse tomorrow. But I'll take you with me. Tomorrow is salon day. Um, I, I work mobile part of the week and then I work in a salon the other half of the week so tomorrow is salon day which is lovely because it means that I'm in just one place and I don't have to travel around all over the place and get stuck in traffic and things like that so it should be a pretty good way to ease back into work after feeling so crappy um, so I'll bring you bring you along with me tomorrow hopefully make you laugh um, and share some of my experiences with you again see what's in my YouTube YouTube I really need to go to bed. My You Beauty calendar, because um, I love sharing that with all of you. Um, so sleep tight. Please like and subscribe and give it a little thumbs up if you can. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!